The Rigid Sea Snake Micro and Nano Series inspection systems give you the flexibility to inspect a wide variety of lines in drain, plumbing, and industrial applications. The main differences between the micro reel, micro drain, and nano reel are the size of the camera heads and the length and stiffness of the push cables. With the largest camera head and the stiffest push cable, the micro reel is ideal for main and branch sewer lines from one and one half to four inches. The micro reel includes a 100 foot push cable and can be ordered with the optional count plus, which can overlay time and day, distance, and text information onto the video. The micro drain and nano reel feature patented ultra flexible push cables designed for tight turns in small diameter lines. The micro drain is rated for one and one half to three inch lines and can push through many toilet and pee traps. The nano reel is rated for one to two inch lines and can inspect straight runs in lines as small as three quarters of an inch. The system's modular design gives you the ultimate in flexibility. You can start with one camera and purchase individual components as your inspection needs grow. And multiple monitor compatibility means that you can use your camera with any Sea Snake monitor or with the rigid micro CA300 digital recording device. The micro reel, nano reel, and MicroDrain D65S have a remote transmitter, or SOND, which is located inside the camera head. When activated, the SOND transmits a signal that can be located with a rigid receiver, so you can pinpoint the camera's position and depth. Each system also includes pipe centering guides. Pipe guides help center the camera in the line for a better view of the pipe, and can improve the camera's ability to push through turns, fittings, and offset joints. Ball type centering guides have locking tabs that allow the guide to be attached and removed quickly. Camera head guides attach to the front of the camera head and use two screws to hold the guide in place. In this video, we'll follow a user as he gets familiar with his new equipment. His equipment includes micro reel and micro drain camera reels and a nano reel drum cartridge that can be swapped into either case. Unless otherwise noted, the setup, connections, and operation apply equally to all three reels. After unpacking your equipment, take a few minutes to read the operator's manuals. The manuals contain additional information on features, operation, and safety that aren't covered in this video. We've read the manuals, so let's take a look at our equipment. Our micro drain has a connector for the rigid micro CA300 and will plug its connector into the unit and then power the system on. The left and right arrow buttons raise and lower the brightness of the camera's LED lighting elements. The left arrow dims the LEDs, and the right arrow makes them brighter. The micro drain is available with and without a sond. Ours has a sond, and we can activate it by fully dimming the lights. When the sond is transmitting, Faint wavy lines will be visible on the display. To deactivate the sond, we'll simply raise the camera's light level. The Micro CA300 can capture and playback still and video images. To capture video, we'll open the menu and select the video option. We'll press the shutter button to begin recording video, and we'll press it again to stop recording. To capture a still image, we'll open the menu and select the still image option. To capture an image, we'll press the shutter button. To view the still and video images we've captured, we'll press the select button to enter playback mode. Photo is already highlighted, so we'll press the select button to open the image gallery, and then we'll press select again to open the image we want to view. When we're done, we'll press the return key to close the image, and then we'll take a look at our video clip. The Micro CA300 has a built-in microphone and includes an SD media card, 17mm flexible camera head, and hook, magnet, and mirror attachments. Refer to the operator's manual for complete information on using the Micro CA300 and its features and accessories. Next we'll take a look at the Micro Reel. Ours is equipped with the optional Count Plus distance counter and with the Sea Snake system connector, 
so it's fully compatible with all current SeaSnake monitors. In this case, we're going to connect it to a CS10 digital recording monitor. If you're not familiar with your monitor's features and operation, refer to its instruction manual and product video. The camera connects to the monitor with the SeaSnake system connector. On the CS10, you'll find the connector on the front of the unit. You'll want to tighten the locking sleeve until it's snug to ensure that you have a good connection and a watertight seal. When the reel is powering up, you'll see the counter's startup screen and the monitor will flicker several times. This is normal. You can use the monitor's brightness key to raise and lower the camera's light output. You can use individual presses, or you can hold the key down. The sond key turns the camera's sond on and off. Press the key once to turn the sond on, and press it again to turn the sond off. The zero key resets the distance reading to zero when you hold the key down for about three seconds. Our reel is equipped with the Count Plus and has keys that duplicate the three we just looked at on the CS10. It also has additional features that we can access from its keypad. The Distance key turns the distance display on and off. The Time and Date key cycles through the Time and Date display options. The Text key turns the on-screen text on and off. The Count Plus supports up to 30 text pages, and we've pre-programmed several to get you started you can use the right and left arrow keys to scroll through them. The menu key opens the settings menu. You can use the up and down arrow keys to navigate and use the zero select key to select items. Refer to the operator's manual for a detailed description of the menu options. We have a nano reel drum kit that can be swapped into either case and we're going to swap it into the micro drain case. The nano reel drum kit includes front and rear bearings. All three drums use the same front bearing, which is already installed in the case, so we'll only need to install the rear bearing, which presses into the back of the drum. We'll start by pushing the camera fully into the drum. The case has two latches, and once we unlock them, we can open the case and the drum will lift right out. When the case is open, take care to ensure that the push cable doesn't unspool from the drum. If the cable unspools, it can be seriously damaged, resulting in a costly repair. If the cable ever does unspool, use extreme care to ensure that it doesn't become damaged. If the entire cable is unspooled, you'll want to lay it out flat if at all possible, and to avoid kinking the cable, set the drum into the open case so that it can rotate freely and keep one hand close to the drum to make sure that it rotates easily when you feed the cable back in. If a small amount of cable escapes, feed it back in carefully. Make sure that the drum turns while feeding the cable, and pause if necessary to straighten the cable if it starts to become twisted. Anytime the cable unspools, there's a high risk of it becoming kinked, so handle it carefully. To feed the camera through the guide hole, we'll bend the spring up and close the case over the camera head as we feed it through. Doing it this way will ensure that the cable doesn't escape from the drum and unspool. Once the case halves are closed, we'll slide the latches back to their locked position and test its operation. We've taken a quick look at our camera reels. We've seen how they connect to the rigid Micro CA300 and Seasnake monitors, and we've powered them up and explored their features and operation. Next, we're going to take a look at using these units in the field. We'll look at some different setup options and give you some tips for pushing each type of cable. In our first example, we'll take a look at the micro reel. The micro reel is suitable for main and branch lines and we'll use it to inspect a four inch main line through a floor cleanout. We've positioned the reel within easy reach for better control of the push cable and we've set it on its back for better stability. We've kept the monitor close so we can reach its controls and we've positioned it near the access point where we'll be able to see its screen and the push cable at the same time. 
We'll drop the camera down the cleanout, and when we reach the T into the main line, we'll use a quick push to pop the camera through the fitting. When pushing the camera, we'll keep our lead hand close to the access point. This gives us better control of the cable and reduces the chance of breaking the cable or damaging its outer jacket on the edge of the cleanout. When retrieving the cable, we'll run it through a rag to help keep it clean. We'll pull the cable straight up so that the outer jacket doesn't scrape on the edge of the access point, and we'll keep our other hand close to the drum so that the cable feeds in smoothly. For our next example, we'll take a look at the micro drain, but the nano reel has the same type of cable, and you'd use the same pushing technique for both cameras. We'll enter through a toilet and it's specced up to the main line. This is not an appropriate access point for the micro reel. The micro reel's push cable is not designed for toilets or P traps, and using it in this situation could break the cable. We've installed a ball guide to help the camera make it past the toilet flange. To avoid scratching the bowl, we'll guide the camera head and spring up and into the trap. It can take a bit of effort to work the camera through tight turns like you find in toilets and P traps. In most cases, you'll have the best success with a micro drain and nano reel by keeping your hands as close to the access point as possible and maintaining steady pressure on the push cable while using short, pulsing strokes to work the camera through turns and down the line. How far you can push from a given access point depends on the number and tightness of turns and the line size, material, and condition. In this tutorial, we've taken a quick look at how to connect and operate your Seasnake camera system, and we've performed a couple of sample inspections. Now that you've seen the basics, be sure to watch Seasnake Tips and Tricks, which is included on the product DVD, and is also available on the Rigid Today YouTube channel. Seasnake Tips and Tricks is packed with helpful tips and advanced techniques that will help you get the most from your equipment. On behalf of the entire Rigid team, thank you for purchasing Seasnake Diagnostic Equipment, and thank you for watching this video.